All right, you're gonna be in for a real treat. You're gonna see why I love tropical aqua. Oh. <laughs> Can we find a newt around here? I guarantee this is newt habitat here for sure. It's a real simple display, but how gorgeous and beautiful is that? What a jungle with the bamboo. <laughs> I don't, okay, I'm literally blind. How cool is that? Same things I would always do as a kid. Beautiful. Native hydrangeas. Huge. <laughs> Lifestyle. This is exciting for me. I have not been here since 2005. Ed Ballou, the pond professor, and I came. And Emin Hughes is a very renowned water feature aquatic plantsman. And I think he's Scottish, Emin Hughes. And uh, I met him at the International Water Lily and Water Gardening Symposium in the late 90s. And uh, this is his property, his dream. He's out building water features, I'm sure. All right, Bill, you said tropical room is up here, right? Yep, it's right over here. There it is, tropical house. All right, you're gonna be in for a real treat. You're gonna see why I love tropical aqua oh. <laughs> aquatic plants so much. This is why. Look at these flowers. Hughes Water Gardens, there's Emin Hughes right there. A young kid sitting on an Amazon water lily right there. Look at this room. Are you kidding me? Look at this entire section of lotus, which aren't necessarily tropical. They're perennial. They'll come back in most places. Look at the colors. Wow. Look at the color, that, that how sharp pink that is. Just gorgeous. Even the smell of the leaves is much different than other plants. This is probably a two day or thir third day bloom. And then of course, this is what the spat look like. And they use these when they even dry out a little bit more. There's the seeds uh, and a lot of flower arrangements. But that's, that's a typical looking lotus right there, a plant just like that. And then the tropical lilies intermixed in between. Blooming white, and that back to that pink. It gets a periscopum. And, and then here's a night bloomer. Look at the night bloomers. So it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning and they're still blooming. I think that's red flare. Could be wrong on that. Another, another smaller, more dwarf version of the lotus, bigger one. And then look at these plants. So that's a Victoria water lily from the Amazon right there. And you can see the bloom coming up, which is just huge. And that thing smells so incredible. And that's the kind of plant container you need minimum for a, a Victoria from the Amazon. And it needs a lot of fertilizing to grow. And you can see how they, the leaves unfurl themselves and it kind of spikes that are on them. I've got three of them at Aqualand right now growing out. Tropical lily, I could spend all day in this room alone. So this is the hardy, hardy ponds. Oh, look at that, I love that back display. We gotta look in that. So yeah, just uh, this is what people are used to doing, seeing. And once again, these pots should be repotted because they're already, you can see the roots coming out of there. So number one thing I see is people with root bound containers. Every year you have to repot your lilies. You don't have to water them, but you do have to repot them. And then Neiman Hughes is known for very natural looking designs. I love this. And get this cut leaf sumac over here. We got some koi down there. No rock and gravel that will help with the water quality if we had that butterfly koi right there. But beautiful waterfalls. He's very natural, and of course, just the lush kind of plant material that you get out here in the Pacific Northwest. Nice fish. I would hide that liner with rock and gravel. Some sort of a red, not a maple. You know what kind of tree that is? I know these are sumacs. You know what kind of tree that is? It's cool looking, whatever it is. But we are pond guys, not plant guys, but the plants make such a difference. <laughs> so fun. Just to give you a perspective of the variations, Perry's Baby Red. That's after my buddy Perry Slocum. He was 90 when I met him and I'm 80, but he seemed like 90 because he's been doing this his whole life and he's no longer with us. But uh, look at all the different, you know, Perry varieties. Juan Visa, that's a really cool plant that changes color. They found it in Vietnam and they brought it. Do they have Carla's Sunshine on here? Look for it. That's named after my wife. I actually named a water lily, Carla's Sunshine, S-O-N, Shine, uh, after our kids. 
pretty romantic, huh? Yeah, a fungi can be romantic. Can we find a newt around here? I guarantee this is newt habitat here for sure. Got right, look at this gardens. Wow, this is a fun, oh, wait till you see this. We just walked past this. I wasn't filming when we walked past it, going to the tropical lily. But look at this display pond over here. The hardy water lily selection. Look at this. How gorgeous is that? With that cool statue in the back. It's a real simple display, but how gorgeous and beautiful is that? With all the different varieties, there's so many different varieties of water lilies out there. Just a simple display, but boy, is that breathtaking. So that's my first sign of aquascape at their nursery, the stacked slate urn. Looks great. Let's see what they have it here for. That is not a bad price at all. Needs to get a little bit leveled. But look at these tulips. Calla lily. lily. Yep, calla. That is good. That is a calla lily. Check out the display pond. This is so fun. So I don't even know if Eamon is retired or even still alive. It was, like I said, it's been so long since I've been in here. Boy, look at this. Look at this. Is it a fir tree? Pine tree? Boy, the jungle with the bamboo. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Just a woodland pond out here. Now, this is where we'll find the newts. Not in some place like this, but boy, how tranquil. Yep. See, we got more newt signs. Don't eat them before you <laughs> Okay, I won't eat any newts. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of a, is that lizard tail? Some sort of a bog bean. bog bean. Okay, bog bean marginal plant. Look at this. Yep, the irises. And then, oh yeah, so this is just, this is be more like a traditional English garden here where you don't really care about the water quality and it's just chock full. As you can see, when the lilies grow like that, it uh, means they're fighting for space. But as you can see, this is just kind of a wild uh, area, which I think works just fine. Gorgeous. Who wouldn't want this on that property? Got the cattails. Come on. Are you kidding me? Really, really cool. Native wildlife pond. So I would call this kind of like a traditional English garden type of a design. So you're not really concerned about the water quality and it's just kind of looks natural and native. And I mean, in this setting, it completely works. Look at this. Are these, uh, what are these? There's a new, where? No. Right there too. There's a bunch of them in here. I don't, okay, I'm literally Dark. blind. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I see like, nothing. There's like five of them. Oh, wait, under the water. Oh, I see them. Yeah. Okay. I thought they would, okay, that's cool. Yes, they're all over the place. Wow, we just look like a shadow to me. Oh, they're all over they're here. everywhere. Yeah. We have to try to snag one. Okay, grab it, buddy. Good luck, Tushin, it's poisonous. Oh, big deal. Who cares? <laughs> here, hold this thing. I'll take Poison, smoison. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be too fast. How cool is that? Same things I would always do as a kid. Beautiful. So cool. Go, oh, buddy. Go back into your pond. I'll leave you alone. That's a hydrangea? It's like a hydrangea tree, dude. Wow. Native hydrangeas. Huge. So cool. All right, I won't lick my fingers. Just so neat. Come on, guys. How beautiful is that? These newts got it made out here. All their different fountain displays. Wow, that's a cool iris. And then the plants. I mean, this is as nice a plants as I've ever seen at a nursery because this is what they specialize. In. This is an aquatic plant nursery. Just magnificent. Floating plants. I checked that out. Boy, everything is so intricate here. I love this little display with that air plant. And there's your water lettuce. Very cute. A little bonsai Japanese looking place. Floating plants. Looks like they're not in stock a lot. Okay, here we go. Yeah, fairy moss, which is pretty cool. If you have a skimmer, it'll get sucked into the skimmer. So you have to have more of a still water feature for that. Oh, this is so cute. Are you allowed to, are they not allowed to sell um, water hyacinth? up here no they are they just sold out oh, okay yeah just sold out little small little fountain wow well these have some of the aquascape product which is nice and they have this beautiful planted amano tank which is gorgeous up here even some of our filters and stuff but you know this is a an old school water garden place that's been around for a long long time it is truly an absolutely spectacular aquatic nursery out here in uh, Oregon. And if you're interested, if you're of any interest at all in water features, you wanna stop by a place like this. But this is gonna be a fun vlog. This is an impromptu visit. I said, if we're close enough, we can stop by and we did. And now here we are, basically one of the most, the coolest aquatic plant places that I've ever been to. All the different types of canna. Look at this. I mean, look at the difference in these cannas. I mean, you know, regular leaves, burgundy leaves, variegated leaves, red flowers, orange flowers. This is a tropical. You would not have this come back every year where we are. And then look at this plant right here. I think it is called dinosaur plant and you can see why it's very rough. Look at the size of that leaf. Once again, we are in the Pacific Northwest. You do not get things like this in Chicago, which is why it's fun for me to visit on my vlog tours.